Hi everyone, my name is Kelly. Today I'm going to do a video on my old video of how I tattoo my own eyeliner. So a lot of you have asked me what machine I use and stuff like that. And some of you even asked me why did I tattoo my own eyeliner. So I am a permanent makeup technician. Um, I do eyebrows and eyeliner tattooing or permanent makeup as you will call it. Um, the reason why I did that video on how to do it on myself is not to encourage you to do it because again it was very long, it took very long, it was difficult to do but I did it because I just want to show you that it could be done and also a lot of my clients they don't want me to record them that's why I did that video. It's not for everybody, I don't encourage it because again it's very tiring it took me double the time doing it on myself than to do it on a client. So the machine that I use is this one. Okay, it looks like this. It's quite heavy. It's called the Nouveau Contour Intelligent. Um, I actually got this when I took the uh, permanent makeup class. Um, this costs approximately about four to five thousand dollars. It's not cheap. It comes with my tuition, meaning it comes with the cost of my course. But um, again, it's not cheap. You use the plug to plug it in. And then this is the handle okay, that you plug in here as well. And that is the handle that you use for um, the permanent makeup. Again, so on here, it has the power. And then it is an LD screen, which you will see. And then it has for eyebrows, for eyes, for lips, and for medical, which means some people have areola. Uh, cancer patients, uh, breast cancer patients, uh, you can definitely you can do their areola, their lips, their eyeliner or their eyebrows. And it has like, uh, you know, the speed and all that stuff. So this is made in Germany and um, you can definitely get it cheaper now, I think. But when I got it with my course, it was pretty expensive. So these are the type of uh, needles that are used. Uh, there's many types of needles, but this is the needle needles that work with this particular um, machine. This, so you can press um, on, or there's a foot pedal. So let's say if you're working and you don't want to get the machine dirty while you're working with your hands, um, then you, there's a foot pedal as well. I don't have it here with me today. And uh, I also got these magnifying glasses. So when you have these glasses, it's easy for you to actually uh, see uh, on the client that when you're doing detail work like an eyeliner, you want to see. So they also come with that. And the pigments that I use is was Micro Pigmentation Center. It was in Toronto, Canada. I believe it's near Mississauga. But uh, you can Google it and uh, that is where I learned my course from. And, uh, you know, it's uh, it's very, those of you who want to get into this, um, honestly, it's a very um, rewarding, very uh, good uh, career if it's something that you like. It's the same as a makeup artist, except you're using a machine to give someone permanent makeup. So um, I hope that answered your question. If you ask me, um, is it painful? Well, it's not comfortable. Um, it's more comfortable when you're doing on a client. But when I did on myself in my video, it was very uncomfortable because it took me like twice the time. So if I do it on someone that takes me about an hour and a half, it would take me about three hours to do it on myself. Um, in terms of pain, definitely you don't feel pain. You actually feel the pressure of the person holding your eye and try to, you know, um, tattoo or do the permanent makeup on you. So you feel more of the person's pressure. You don't feel pain in terms of like the machine. So there's anesthetics uh, that's put on, so therefore you don't feel pain. Um, you know, you feel discomfort, but not pain. Um, so what I did on myself, the reason why I could do it on myself is because I was numbed or my eye was numbed. So I get those that ask me between eyebrows and eyeliner, what hurts more? So to me, um, eyeliner doesn't hurt as much. The reason is, it is Theodore right here and Belle <laughs> making the racket at the back. So um, back to the eyebrow and the eyeliner. So between the two, what hurts more would be the eyebrow because it's by the bone area. That's why you may feel it more. Again, you are on um, anesthetics. You are on numbing cream. So therefore, you shouldn't feel any pain. But 
um, if you do, it's most likely the eyebrows. When you're closing your eyes and she's doing the eyeliner tattooing, you know, it's just like someone's putting eyeshadow or eyeliner on you. It's, it's just like a makeup application. Um, so someone can easily, if they were to hurt you, they can easily do it with like, you know, an eyeliner. You know, so um, usually when people are, are permanent makeup technician, they're usually very conscious when they're doing it on you. So I'm pretty sure uh, they won't hurt you. People get really scared when anything that's near the eye and is tattooing. But honestly, you're scared because you don't know about it and you don't have someone explain it to you. But once, you know, your technician talk to you, explain all the questions you have and you're comfortable and you trust that person, honestly, it's, it's nothing to be scared of. And once you understand the procedure and you feel confident in the person who's doing it, then you know what? It's just having a nap, wake up with beautiful eyeliners. So I hope that that answered your questions. Um, if you want to see how I tattoo my eyeliner and what I've used, I did have a video previously, so you can check that out. But uh, so this video is to answer whoever had the question on what I've used and what machine I use. So I hope that that helps. And if you do take the course and if you do become a permanent makeup technician, please feel free to share your technique. Tag me on Instagram, Kelly Hong Lee. I would love to see some of your work. And um, yeah, so um, my eyeliner, I tattooed it, I believe, I two three years ago it still works really well now definitely it faded um, I didn't do it so that it lasts forever and I don't want it to last forever so even though it says permanent makeup it's meaning it's longer than half a year It's longer than a year depending on how deep you go into it like don't have anything permanent because fashion change like what you like in 1990 doesn't mean it's the same you know fashion for 2000 so it shouldn't mean for the rest of your life and you don't want that I'd rather spend the money again to do something that's updated than to have something that I'm stuck for life so keep that in mind um, definitely I suggest those that are considering permanent makeup or microblading it's best to see someone's work before and after um, obviously we always want someone who's experienced the best but again you know it's not the matter of experience or how long someone does something but it's their technique someone can be new and they're really talented and they can do an amazing job have a consultation and make sure you're comfortable with the technician that's doing it on you and honestly permanent makeup is amazing I can go to swimming I can go to the gym high school I was always skeptical of going to the gym when we have swimming days because I you know I would have no eyeliner on my eyes will look really small so the permanent makeup definitely save you a lot of time in the morning from drawing your eyeliner and you know even the eyebrows like those are the two main things you can have them and not need any makeup on so permanent makeup is definitely very convenient for those who don't know how to do makeup who are, or moms who are so busy that have no time to take care of themselves and always look so tired because the eyes is pale and there's no eyebrow shape Permanent makeup and microblading is, is awesome, but um, just do your research. Look at someone's work, importantly, after, because anything that's freshly done is always beautiful, but the true work really shows after it's healed. So um, I hope that that answers some of your questions. If you have any other questions, you can feel free to leave me a comment below, and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. So um, yeah, so I have my eyebrows, uh, tattooed and my eyeliner tattooed so I'm good to go in the morning so um, it's very convenient so those of you who have no time to do these things honestly it's considered permanent makeup and it's for any age especially for people who are my age 35 and older especially when our eyes are you know um, getting smaller and you know we don't have time because of family kids or even you know mature ladies who are unable to see close up anymore uh, this is great for an option for you so once again thank you so much for watching I hope that this video is helpful if you do find that it is please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and help me raise awareness for my charity I'll see you in the next video bye everyone so here Theo you want to say bye to everyone here Belle Theo so these are my kids um yep they are 
They are a handful. <laughs> and say bye, Theo. Theo, let's do a trick. Theo, hand. Good boy. Theo, hand. Good boy. Okay, bye everyone.